Hello all my puppy lovers, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be going over tips and tricks for Sloop Arena. In the last video, we went over Galleon Arena and just the meta around Galleon Arena. Today, it is Sloop Arena, so if you guys have a bigger group of friends and that stuff, I recommend checking out that video. However, today you're probably wanting to know the most efficient way for wins, considering Sloop Arena is a lot easier for wins. I find it's a lot easier for wins, it's honestly not hard to get wins. In Sloop Arena, it's easy. So today we're going to be going over every single tip and every single, I guess, strategy that I know of when playing Sloop Arena. So not further ado, let's get into the video. So Sloop Arena will start off mostly the same as Galleon Arena. Raise your anchor, drop the sails, angle the sails, grab your fruits and that stuff. Well, resources, can't really think today. But frankly, that's your main startup. That's going to be how it's going to pretty much play out every single game. However, there is three different paths you can do. You can either just be a naval, I guess, PvP lord, or you can be a chest farmer noob, or you can be a balance of both. Frankly, let's just talk about silver farming, then chest farming, and then we'll go into, I guess, an, a little bit of both, frankly. It's, it's a strategy where you just do both, frankly. So, first of all, silver farming. Why is this inefficient? For one, you need to shoot 40 cannonballs consistently, or every single time and you need to do it faster than somebody that can grab the chest and then go and cash it in frankly it is inefficient because you only got one cannon unlike galleon arena where you have like four cannons and just three people on those cannons shooting just all their shots into somebody or shooting most of their shots is already almost a thousand silver in sloop arena it is a lot less it is like you have to shoot 40 cannonballs, not counting, also having to go and grabbing the resources from your barrel, which doesn't take much time, but also it adds time. So you have to keep that in mind if you're wanting to just do naval. So frankly, it's not as efficient as, well, grabbing the chest. Grabbing the chest, frankly, if you got people that are just crap at the game, if they're just missing cannon shots and that stuff, frankly, just going for chest is honestly works because, well, it's a thousand silver, they need to hit 40 cannonballs just get a thousand silver and also digging up the chest gives you 150 silver so chest farming is a little bit better than naval you can just naval if you're really good at cannon shots or just pretty decent at cannon shots you should be perfectly fine navaling if you're soloing or if you got a buddy however frankly going for the chest and doing a bit of both is frankly the most optimal way to get wins in arena so for doing both, you just want to grab the chest, and then while your teammate is sailing around, this is more for just two people. If you're soloing, just go for the chest, or just go for naval. I recommend just going for naval, personally, because you're rarely going to get the win soloing arena. So, frankly, if you're doing a bit of both, you need to get your teammates to go around and shoot cannon shots while dropping the rowboat off the back of the boat. The reason why you would drop the rowboat off the back of the boat, if they cannot get to you, at least you have a plan B for getting it off of that island and cashing in that chest. And then you, you can get that teammate to keep people off of you, just shooting cannonballs, navaling, getting you a little bit more silver and that stuff. If you're close to sinking, let's say if you're in a bad spot, scuttle, cash in chest, that's an instantly a thousand silver, and then they can't silver farm you, and it's less likely for you to sink and lose a thousand points. So if you're in a bad spot, just scuttle go cash in the chest, and then, well, you got a thousand silver, and then go back into battle. So guys, some people might skip over this part of the video, but frankly don't. Um, this part of the video is, I would say, the most important part of this video. This part will actually make you even more better at solo sleeping. It'll make you ten times better at the game. So firstly, we need to talk about when you should repair, what should you prioritize repairing, and also we'll go over some little nice things that you guys may have not known about so frankly what should you prioritize repairing instantly when your mask goes down you need to pick that thing up if you do not hear your boat sinking like crazy pick up that mask instantly if you cannot move you are a sitting duck and you will instantly get cannon targeted you'll get every single team solar farming you and that stuff and it's just not a good time frankly you're going to end up sinking you'll have people boarding you you'll have a ton of crap happening and frankly it's just not going to be a lot of fun so as soon as you hear your mask drop repair that thing don't just repair it with one piece of wood unless it's like close to the end of the game and you need to get some cannon shots on them that's also another exception if you're if you hear your mask instantly drop well then it, if it's close to the end of the game don't worry about it if it's like less than one minute frankly just keep firing cannons at people you should be perfectly fine however if you're in mid game or if you got five minutes left raise that puppy up you need to raise the mass up instantly 
and just don't repair it with one piece of wood. You need to repair it with two or three pieces of wood. I like to keep my mass fully repaired just in case if people get a lucky cannonball volley on me where they're like two mass cannonball shots and it's just like, oh wow, my mass is down again. You don't want your mass to drop. You need your mass up at all times because you only have one sail. It's not like a galleon or a brigantine where you can actually afford a sail to go down and that stuff. Frankly, you need to keep your sails up. So yeah, keep your masts up and keep doing all that stuff. What should you prioritize repairing in bottom? Frankly, bottom, there's a misconception where they're like, I need to go down and repair instantly. Well, no, the sloop is actually the slowest sinking ship in the game. You don't need to worry about it. You can actually take some hints. You need to worry about getting people off of the cannons. If you can keep shooting people on the cannons to keep them off of it, you can frankly go down there and quick bucket. Frankly, have your sound effects up, turn down your music and that stuff, so you can hear creaking when you hear your boat starting to sink. Like, like crazy, like not like, oh, I hear like a little bit creaking. It's like when you hear the, oh, it's like half full creaking, like like that creaking. Then you go down, then you quick bucket a few times, then you can go up and then you can shoot some cannonballs. But frankly, when you're on bottom deck, let's say you've been out of a fight for a little bit. Let's say you're like, okay, I can start going down there and repairing. I'm tired of quick bucketing and that stuff. Frankly, do not prioritize by the map table or at the back part of the ship. You do not need to prioritize that part. Frankly, you won't get much water repairing, like just leaving those holes up. Frankly, leaving those holes up are perfectly fine. Um, at times, if it's a level four hole, like pretty much the max level hole, like the, the scary looking hole, then you need to repair that because you can, like if you have the full entire back filled with those level four holes, well, then you'll have a problem because as soon as your ship dips a little bit in the water, well, then you'll instantly get a ton of water and then you'll have to go under there and quick bucket. As long as it's not a level four hole, you should be perfectly fine at the back, leaving all those holes. In middle deck, however, completely different story. You need to repair middle as often as possible. Frankly, if you're getting a good volley on somebody, don't worry about it. It's the slowest sinking ship in the game. If you have like a ton of holes down there, steer your ship a little bit so you can get out of fire and that stuff. Angle your sails a little bit, go down, quick bucket, repair middle and that stuff. That's your main main goal is when you go down there to repair repair the very bottom deck you need to repair the bottom because you'll have constant streams of water coming in but for if you're in an intense situation leaving it for a little bit is okay so as soon as i see water hitting middle deck um i instantly go under and i start bucketing and that stuff or well bottom deck i don't know what to call that deck you, you know what i mean bottom deck middle deck i i don't know what I, what to call it but frankly, as soon as I see the water hitting the map table area, that's the point where I start going under and I start quick bucketing like crazy. Then I repair middle, middle, bottom deck, don't know what to call it. And then I'll go up and I'll shoot some more cannonballs. But frankly, you won't need to do this unless you have, let's say, your teammates off the boat or if you're solo sleeping arena. In that case, you will need to do this. But frankly, you don't really have these situations unless you are soloing the sloop and that stuff but frankly you should be perfectly fine so um yeah these are pretty much all the tips that i have for you guys um use harpoons if you're in a tight situation where you're like i can't make this turn jump up to the harpoon and just use the harpoon to do a quick turn it, it's something that people don't often use but you do need to master it it'll make you a lot better at the game and frankly if you have two people on your sloop frankly harpooning people is very helpful so you can go around their boat and that stuff but yeah that's that's really the last tip so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a button down below please subscribe if you're new around here and uh yeah share this video with your friends your crew members to hopefully get them better at this game and that stuff and um yeah i'll see you dudes in the next video